Hey, y'all. Welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics, and I'm a Pleiadian channel. So in today's Point of View, the Pleiadians wanted to share a quick weekly energy update with you. So a little snapshot as to what they are seeing in our collective energy for the week. So one thing you may have noticed about the energies lately over the past couple of days is that they have gotten incredibly heavy. We have been riding the highs of solar energy for a while now. Over the past couple weeks or so, the energies have been very high, very invigorating, lots of solar activity, which is energizing all the light workers and star seeds. And you may have noticed that that has shifted. So as the Pleiadians look at our collective energy for the week, one thing that they have noticed is that the energies have gotten very dense. So the energy over the next week may feel even a bit suffocating to you. That's how I would describe the energies over the past day or two. It is like one of the heaviest weighted blankets in the world is sitting on top of you. So we have had a big shift in the energies over the past couple of days. And And one thing that you may notice as a result of these very dense energies that are rolling in is you may notice issues with the lower body. So this is showing up in a lot of people as discomfort in the feet, in the legs, even in the lower back. And according to the Pleiadians, one of the reasons we are feeling this in the lower parts of our body right now is because we are purging a lot of very dense survival energy. And as you all know, we carry that energy in the lower chakras. So I'm hearing from a lot of clients, a lot of friends, that they are having issues with the legs, with the feet. And one thing that I noticed from these energies, which is really bizarre, is it felt like every bone in my foot was breaking. And that was not super fun. So if you are noticing weirdness in the lower parts of your body, people are noticing this in many different ways. This may be something that is being contributed to by the energies we are moving through right now. So a focus on discomfort sensation in the lower body is certainly very common in these energies. Now, something else that is happening with these energies, which is a little strange with denser energies like we're experiencing now, is that a lot of people are having trouble grounding. And this is a little weird because we normally see this with higher energies. When those solar energies are cranking in, we tend to fly out of our body and feel a little ungrounded. But it's a little unusual to experience that when the energies are heavy. Usually heavy energies make us feel more grounded. So we're in some weird territory this week where we have very dense energies that are causing that same sensation of not being able to ground. So if you feel like you are having trouble concentrating, trouble focusing, and just kind of feeling a little dissociated from your body in general, that is also something that the Pleiadians say is very common in this week's energy. So some things that may be helpful to you if you're experiencing this are to actually switch up your grounding tools a little bit to do more grounding in nature. So a lot of us ground, of course, by doing a meditation. That is kind of the gold standard. It's what we do. But when we need extra grounding, there is no substitute for getting in nature. If you can get out in the water somewhere, if you can get your bare feet in contact with the ground, even laying on the ground, pressing all of those back chakras against the ground, the earth will help you pull some of this heaviness out of you. And that might help you if you're feeling just a little out of your body in these energies. So these energies are a little strange in that they are heavy, but still ungrounding. So getting in nature can be super helpful. And one other thing that the Pleiadians recommended that they said might be helpful to some people in these energies is moving our bodies. So you may feel pulled to get out and take more walks, to go for that run that you've been putting off because movement, moving the body, especially gentle exercise can really help move these energies through you. So I have noticed I have felt pulled to do second workout some days, which really rare for me. So working the body, just moving it 
helps keep these very kind of suffocating energies moving, which is what we want to do. We want them to move through us. So that is a little snapshot of the energies for this week. Be prepared for them to be a little heavier than usual, a little heavier than we prefer them to be. But that is because we are moving through some pretty dense survival templates right now. And we want to get those moving through us as quickly as possible. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to hear weekly energy updates from the Pleiadians. Usually I do this on a monthly basis, but I've kind of been thinking that we could all use as much help as we could get. So if weekly updates sound good to you, let me know that in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you soon. Bye.